the country and indeed the region experienced below normal rainfall during the past agricultural season 2001-2002. This in turn has negatively affected agricultural production and the food security. Like an ancient tale retold, thousands of farmland in the country have been hit with echoes of effects of the prolonged dry spell that has threatened food security in the country, just like it was in 1992 and 2002 when the country faced similar situations. Former Vice President Enoch Kavindele lived and worked through both situations. Mr. Kavindele sat down with a ZMBC news crew at his residence to share how the then administrations handled the 1992 and 2002 droughts. 1992, 60% of the planted maize failed. We also faced a similar situation when Mr. Mwanawasa became uh, president. Again, there was drought. So we really had to go around the world to seek uh, support. Uh, we were supported. Years later, the country once again stands in the face of adversity of looming food insecurity, but can now draw lessons from the past from people like Mr. Kavindele, who has shared some tips on how to weather the current storm. But certainly there will be a committee mobilizing aid to the country, maybe headed by a senior minister. And uh, when the maize is to be brought in, you will need another committee on logistics, on how to bring the food into the country. And once the food is in the country, you will need another committee to do the distribution. Yeah. If you just leave it, everything to one group of people, then things will go wrong. Yes, there will be no checks and balances. The former vice president has called on people to support government because the effects of the prolonged dry spell on crop yields is a result of forces of nature and not the doing of the current leadership. This is urgent. It is an emergency and it requires people to work together honestly and diligently yeah, so that our people, none of our people will die from hunger. He has further cautioned government to be wary of corruption during the process of responding to the threatened food security as some people, including top government officials, may become adventurous and take advantage of the free aids to engage in corrupt activities. Masaoso, Mokwayaya, ZMBC News, Lusaka.